So anyway, going back to what I said, I had to take a little break to clear my throat. I had something to eat. I have a sesame bagel with cream cheese. <clears throat> but anyway, I remember there was this one time during BOCES, this one girl who was from like one of the Pittsburgh schools, she had like this teacher named Mrs. M, I remember. I remember she got mad at me for some weird reason. And she started like, she eyeballed me or something like that in like a way. I remember I got so pissed off about it. My friend Alex from BOCES, he went to Eastridge. It's like, yo, relax, bro. She didn't mean to go off. Because I was trying to explain my what I was trying to do. And like, she was just like. Like. And stuff like that. But, you know, that, that night, I remember we had a, Victor had a game. We won our second game, I remember. The only things I can think of junior year is the football season we had. And then the other thing, which I'm going to get to later. So, I remember there was another kid in the class. He had autism, just like me. I forgot his teacher aide's name, but I remember I told her I really like the Giants. He's like, you like the Giants? He's like, yep. He's like, who do you like? You Giants fan too? It's like, and she said Eagles. I'm like, ooh, rivalry central right there. And when I wore my Victor jersey, when she said go Victor and stuff like that, and stuff like that, I remember like, she said, "Oh, I hope you're not from Pittsburgh." It's like, I'm not. I'm from Ironically. I'm like, oh, okay, Whew, close call. And I remember, um. That kid that she was with had a freak out, had a few freak outs, I remember. I remember the last ever freak out he had, he like trashed, excuse me, he trashed the entire classroom. So basically what we did in the grill room was we cooked a lot of stuff. My favorite stuff we cooked, we I made these scratch built chocolate chip cookies. That was like the only recipe I can really do. It was more easy. It had less measuring in it, and, you know, I don't really... And measuring, I'm not really good with. Like, I've done stuff with measuring, but sometimes I'd have someone there with me, because I struggle with that stuff. You know, everyone has different weaknesses. Like, some people struggle with measuring, some people struggle with everything. But I remember, um... We had that teacher aid again. I remember me, and it was this other kid. I remember I got really... It was the the week of the Schrader game. When we played like crap, but we still won it. She was yelling at us and stuff like that. I remember I walked out of the, the room like upset. And then I remember I was so surprised how she reacted. And I would love to be around her again. She was so, how she responded when she saw me, I realized that, you know, I was getting really overwhelmed and upset. She took it such a perfect way. Like, I don't know how. Wow. She asked me to take a deep breath and like, you know, she said, man, if you were my son, I would give you a hug. And I thought, oh my God, that is so, I'm like, oh my God, that's so nice of you. I know some people at my, at, where I go to co college at NAS, some students I have, like some girl students who are very kind and polite like that. Like I can say which girls I know at my college are, do kind of remind me of that teacher aid. There were a few. I'm not going to give out names, but oh my God, that was the last time I ever saw her. Then later that practice, I got mad at the one team manager because he was, he really pissed me to the limit. I remember like, coach called my mother about it, you know, and asked it like, you know, she was, he was asking, I remember, he was kind of like asking questions about, you know, being, being like stuff with me with autism, like, you know, maybe he was trying to learn about autism too. Well, he's a, he was a school counselor, so he probably dealt with kids with autism and other disabilities and maybe he was trying to learn more. Um, uh, what else in BOCES? Nothing really that much. I remember, um, there was this one girl who went to Penfield. Her name is Sarah. Shout out to you if you ever watch this. She was really nice. She was, she was goofy. She was a complete goofball. Like, she really, then there was a kid named TJ, um, who was from Fairport. I remember that kid. He was so hyper energy. Like, oh my God, the kid would go, he was a nice kid though. He was a goofball too. There was Johnny, this kid named Johnny, I remember. Oh my god, they they were funny. Um Oh my gosh. I kinda do miss that class. I miss cooking and you know 
the teachers who are in charge of there, Mrs. T, Mrs. L. Shout out to all you guys who I just mentioned. You know, you guys were amazing. I I, I really kind of do miss you guys. <laughs> um, yeah. Basically, I would do, we either prep food or cook and stir certain stuff and learn new recipes. It was, no one ever got in trouble. They're like, if you remember my buildings and grounds with last year, like we had, we got in trouble and we had to cancel our trip because the kids were being rebellious. We haven't had, we didn't have any of that. The one thing is the two teachers that are in this class, they were so kind, they were really patient. They were understanding. Um, they were really, um, what was it called? Well, pretty much that's it in a nutshell. Like we never got in trouble. We only got in trouble, I think once, only once. I'll get to that in a, in a few uh, minutes. I have to find, think of some more stories. I remember my friend Alex would always pick on me about, you know, my favorite teams, Victor's football team. And I remember the day of the CBA semifinal. I remember me and Alex and this kid named, another kid I was friends with named Royal. Shout out to you too. He was a big dude. Shout out to you, big guy. I miss you. I miss all you guys. Um, I remember we were like, oh, you're going to crush CBA. They ass. They're ass. I I know CBA. He's like, how do you know CBA? He's like, one of them was like, my cousin plays for Aquinas. I went to that game when they played him, and they got in CBA's ass. We actually beat, Victor actually beat CBA in, like, a rain-slash-snow-like game. Another incident happened out, off, outside of uh, the game, but, you know, I don't want to get into it. I remember... One of the coaches called me out for shouting too much. He's like, enough of the shouting crap. But, you know, the, the other coach said, like, don't worry about it. It's just how he is. And I remember, like... Yeah, we had that game at the Bills Stadium, I remember. That was awesome. Like, even though I'm not a Bills fan myself, and I live upstate New York, but man, that stadium was so, like, electric, electronic. Like, the atmosphere was really hype and stuff like that. Like, if I can go there for a rock concert, oh yeah, I'll go there for that. And, oh my goodness, what else? And then there was the state championship game. I remember we had a snow day before the state championship game. I remember the weekend coming back after Thanksgiving. I remember um, my uh, newspaper article with me and my friend Z Money. Um, they showed it to the entire class and they all congratulated me for having a great season at Victor. And oh my gosh, it was... It was awesome. I just wish I could go back to my junior year. Um, I remember, what else? Uh, yeah, I remember hanging out with that girl and stuff like that all the time, you know. It wasn't until this one time, the kid, at the time when I didn't get along with the other team manager, he rode in the van from Bosey's with us, I remember. And he was like talking to her. I remember I got really mad about it. I knew it was going to be a bad choice, but I didn't think I was going to get, well, I should have just been a little more, I just should have acted normal. I was acting weird. And he was saying like what bands he liked. He said he liked Slipknot and I said something like, oh, it was that, the, I don't want to get, talk about that bad incident that happened because, you know, I don't want to offend anyone, but that incident that happened in Colorado back in 1999, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. They listen to that band, Disturbed. Not so why Disturbed is good, though. I don't really like Slipknot that much. But until she said, I want you to ride with us every day now. I'm like, yeah. And in my head, I'm like, wait until we have Mr. Dave as our... Wait until we have Bus Driver Dave. Trust me. He does not like that kid. Because there was one time at Buildings and Grounds when I got in his bus, I remember... The kid tried to get on, and then he just kept on driving. And I was like, I was like, you just forgot him. He's like, and he told me, like, he's not allowed on this bus and stuff like that. It was really weird. Um, I remember, uh, what else? I'm trying to think of some more things that happened. 
Christmas was pretty fun. I went to my uncle's house who has the Lionel New York Central engine number 2380. I didn't play with it though. I was going to, but like everyone in the family all came down the basement to have a ping pong tournament. So there was no time for it because it would disrupt the game because it's all loud and shit like that. So yeah, that was pretty fun. Um, nothing really else. Oh yeah, we had the restaurant unit at the grill room. And then the girl, who, I remember I used to go to the weight room all the time after school. Or I used to play basketball in the gym. They banned kids from doing that that year. Because I don't know, like kids would end up doing other stuff. And I don't know. Sorry about that. I'm chewing on my, eating uh, my bagel. Oh. It's hard to film and, you know, eat at the same time. It's not my favorite thing. But I remember I made so much good stuff in that class. I remember I made nacho, buffalo nacho dip. Oh my God, that shit tasted good. Those chocolate chip cookies, oh, on those free days, oh, I would make those every time. Um, I remember they would always be like, are you sure you want to make something else? Like, nope. I know this, the reason why I do this one because it has less measuring and my measuring skills, not so good. Um, so yeah, I remember the one girl from Penfield, she always tried to help me. She was really nice though. I, I remember one time she was like asking about, cause she was trying to get to a relationship too. She was trying to talk. I would have tried to ask her out, but at the time I was nervous and stuff like that. But, yeah, I remember she always tried to help me. She was really nice for me. She always looked out for me. I remember on my birthday, she made me a New York Giants brownie. Oh my gosh, that was, that was the best. And I remember, um, what else? On my birthday, I remember we all sang happy birthday in the kitchen. That was fun. I just, and also some other things about the, now, I didn't get a chance to mention this when I got in trouble with the girl, with that girl. She was, okay, here's the thing about her. She was troubled. She didn't have supervision. Like, her mother just doesn't care about what she does. And she would, like, sneak out of the house and, you know, hang around with troubled kids. She never got in trouble, but I got in trouble with her. I kept on, like, complimenting her clothes and stuff like that. And I don't know, she didn't like it. And there wasn't, the one that crossed the line was I messaged something to her on Snapchat. I mentioned something sexual with bitmojis and I didn't think it I kind of knew it would be a bad choice but like I didn't think she she'd probably think oh he's just joking around but I don't know she didn't like it and she confronted me about it I was embarrassed but you know I remember the bus driver that heard the little bit of the argument I was like are you guys okay and stuff like that. I was like oh I did something I'm like I didn't know that was gonna be that bad um Oh yeah, and we riding with Mr. Johnson. Oh yeah, Mr. Johnson was the best. The quotes from, from uh, I don't know if he did those my junior. I don't remember. Though every time we go across the train tracks near Boxes, he'd be like, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo. Oh, no choo choo today. And then when the way, when we drove past the waste management truck that one time, he's like, gabooge, gabooge. And then. The one time we drove past this like kid who had an asthma attack, he was passed out. He made a joke about it. I know that was a bad idea doing that, but still, it was funny. I can't. He said, "Oh, maybe he saw a sexy lady, and he couldn't. He couldn't. And he was about to faint." <laughs> oh my god, I just can't. But anyway, um, yeah, my birthday was fun. I went to my first ever uh, Victor basketball game. That was that wild game against Arondequoit. I actually remember that day like yesterday. I remember that the kid who was the team manager was going to ride in the van with us again. I didn't want to, but, you know, I had to deal with it. The good thing was I was a lot more quieter. 
but I had to talk to my counselor about it because, you know, she wanted to know how good I did. And I said, I didn't really talk that. I talked somewhat, but I didn't talk too much. I was very quiet. I just jammed. I just vibed out to my music and stuff like that. Later that day, I watched um, a compilation of the most grossest videos on YouTube. Um, I'm basically, I don't, not really going to say full much detail about this one particular video, but it was a video in Russia. It was really disgusting. It was like a science experiment with an egg. Like, this weird, like, creature came out of the egg. It was so disgusting. I would hate to be Mr. Bad News Bear, but I'll be honest, the video is not real. It's fake. They're all fake, my friend. They're all fake, boys and girls. Like, people are saying, oh, this is not harming anything. Yes, it's harming science, even though I'm not big on, on science. It's harming, I don't know, um, where the, the quote, where do babies come from, I guess. It even harms that quote, too. And, you know, it was just really, uh, maybe it harms the quote anti-virgin. I don't even know. But I ever, I was really looking forward to that game because I did hear Iran Equate was really good and stuff like that. Um, wow, that was an amazing game. It went down to the wire and I remember the, both student sections were fighting. I remember I was screaming, shouting like curse words at this one kid in a Cleveland Cavs jersey. I was like, I was screaming, oh, fuck you. I was screaming and cursing out loud. And none of the security guards complained about it one bit. They didn't complain one damn bit about it. So, yeah, I got in trouble with the girl. And I had to put, like, rules to our friendship and stuff like that. Um, I'll talk about the second and third time I got in trouble. And you guys probably would know about it. And then I went to another basketball game. It was the game against Edison Tech, which is one of the city schools in Rochester. Um, I don't really know anything about Edison Tech, but I've been, I went to one of their games before in basketball. Oh, every time when they were playing Victor, like every time when someone, when like a Victor player would fall over, like they would shoot a basket or do a slam dunk, they would always jump around and go, Bleh! when they screamed, they sounded like that duck meme, the, Aah! and he pressed it all at the same time. You know, they were doing the, Aah! meme and stuff like that. They're referencing all that. Like, I didn't like when Edison Tech's players were all doing that on, on the side of the court in the basketball game. Because you know what that's called? Showing off. Like, they were being really show-off and stuff like that. I remember I said something out loud, and, like, I remember my friends were laughing at stairs. I was like, yo, you're such a savage and stuff like that. I went to, um, the game against Fairport. Fairport was really good that year, I remember. They went to the, the championship before COVID and all this bullshit happened. I remember really got shut out so bad, but I didn't care. I still stayed at the game no matter what. It was kind of sad that they lost and stuff like that. But, you know, I had mad respect for Fairport and their team and their coach, Coach Fitch. Shout out to you, too. You were amazing. You really inspired me a lot. You, you should be, like, I'll, I'll always say a lot of good stuff about that coach because he's really good. I respect him a lot. Um, I bumped into my old neighbor. It was so weird. I was like, hey, buddy. He's like, wait, are you Jake Rosser? I'm like, yeah, uh, who are you? I was like, I'm Mr. I'm not going to say his last name. Mr. So-and-so, I was your neighbor. I'm like, oh, hey, long time no see. And this was before my 17th birthday. He's like, oh, so how old are you now? I was like, oh, I'm going to turn 17 this Friday. He's like, oh, nice. I hope, you, hope it goes good and stuff like that. And then he said, like, tell the family. I said, hi. The day before uh, my birthday, um, well, the tour happened at Bosey's. And I remember my special ed teacher was saying that they were thinking about switching students to go to my class with me. I had, they were switching one of the other special needs kids and stuff like that. And at the time, you know, I was really butting heads. I didn't really know how to be around them. I didn't want any of them being around me and stuff like that. Well, one of them, I was scared he was going to get picked on. And the other ones, uh, I don't know. Um, sometimes bother me when I just want to be left alone and stuff like that. I remember I was really mad about it, and she, and, like, I remember I, I used to kind of butt heads with my special ed teacher. Like, she was nice, but sometimes she would, sometimes I just didn't want to put up with her bullshit, and, like, I just, nah. Um, I remember, like, uh, what else was I gonna say? I remember nothing really that much that, I remember that day it was, um, Victor's basketball team was playing my dad's high school, the one that he grew up going to, Greece Olympia. Yeah, my dad went there. Both my uncles went there. My aunt went there, too. It was a good game. Victor won. 
Oh my god, this was so funny. Shout out to you, my um, Andrew Russell, one of my best friends. So my friend Andrew, um, please, I, if you ever see this, Andrew, you're gonna be like, oh god, I remember that. My best friend chirped this kid on Greece Olympia while he's shooting three throws. He said like he was a short black kid, facial hair. He wasn't really like tall. He was kind of like a really skinny kid. My friend Andrew shouts, "Ew! He can't shoot!" Ball bounces right off the rim. Everyone in the student section is dying of laughter. He does again. He's like he still can't make it. Ball bounces off the rim again. Everyone's all laughing. The kid got so pissed off. He legit stopped dribbling in the middle of the court. Goes up to him. He's like, "He's like, fuck you, homie." He's like, "Do you want me to box your bitch ass up after this game?" Because Boy, I'll do that shit. And, like, the ref called him and said, enough or you're out. And one of the parents came up. She's like, be nice to our players. I'm like, that voice sounds so familiar. And going through my head, I was thinking of this. He on the mojo. The mojo no good. He needs some, uh, milk. I'm like, uh -huh. you're the he needs some milk lady. I'm like, if she said yeah, I would say this. Please script your famous line, which is the best internet meme in history. Oh, somebody, oh, he needs some milk. He on a mojo. The mojo no good. And basically, like, towards, like, the uh, middle-ish, end-ish of um, my junior year, I stopped kind of crushing on the girl, but still I kind of had the feeling for her and stuff like that. I was actually trying to crush on this actual, this girl football player who played for um, the school I want, one of the schools I want to coach at for football. I kind of was. I, I remember the girl who was the, who was the troubled girl who got me in trouble. She helped me. I showed her on social media. She gave me her Snapchat. And we took a selfie together. And I remember I was actually talking to her on Snapchat. I haven't talked to her since. Um, I still have her though, but I don't really talk to her. And I remember, okay, what was it? February break, it was really relaxing. I remember I was sick half of it. And um, I went to the playoff game. I was actually late for the Victor boys basketball playoff game against McQuaid. I came like towards like the start of like the fourth quarter or the middle of the fourth quarter. <clears throat> and we didn't end up winning, I remember. I remember, oh my God, our student section was so funny. Like we were shouting like, I heard that the school police officer for Victor yelled at the McQuaid student section because they were saying some nasty comments and he told them, you guys keep it up, we'll, we'll, make, we'll kick you guys out of here. Um, the McQuaid student section chanted towards the end of the game, if you're winning, you know it, clap your hands. If you're winning, you know it, clap your hands. If you're winning, you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're winning, you know it, clap your hands. Losing, you know it, clap your hands. Losing, you know it, clap your hands. Losing, you know it, really want to show it. Losing, you know it, clap your hands. Um... And my friend Ryan Flights, if you remember him from the 2016 football video I made, I brought up his name a few times. He yells back, you lose next week. You lose next week. And the principal yells at him for doing it. Um, and I remember it was junior prom time when it happened. I remember. Um, and I remember that one girl who I... With the troubled one, like, she was thinking about going, and I didn't, I, I didn't go to it, I just, I saw a picture of her dress or something like that, I remember it was really, it was really pretty, I remember, she looked like a freaking, like, Disney princess for crying out loud, I remember, and she said who she was going with, and I remember she said she was gonna go with my, one of, my friend from Eastridge's friend, she said, ew, no, I'm not going with them, she said she wanted to go with them, I'm not gonna say who it is, I'm not gonna get into the detail, if you guys remember my relationships video, I mentioned this, this is when my junior year started to derail. You know, I was really mad about And I didn't think it was going to be a bad choice. Well, I kind of knew it would be kind of bad, but I didn't think it was going to be bad, bad. You know, I was mad about her choice. And like, you know, I mentioned something, that was a story that was in the Bible and stuff like that. And my special ed teacher was a Christian. And like I said in the relationship video, I don't go to, I didn't go to a Christian school. I went to a public school. And I talked to her about it. I remember I was really mad. She yelled at me to knock it off. And I don't know. I thought, oh, maybe she's just going to take take me to my counselors and um, 
you know, we're going to talk it over and then it's going to be done deal. No, she took it the hard way. She took me to the principal's office. Um, I'm going to have another bite of my bagel. I remember, um, before I get into the rest of that story, so the girl, I used to butt heads with her and stuff like that. We used to butt heads sometimes, like, we'd be nice, but sometimes we'd butt heads and get into arguments. So before the incident, when I got in trouble, a lot of other things happened. Well, my junior year, the Giants finally made the playoffs for the first time since their Super Bowl 46 run, and then they shit themselves my second favorite team got blown out by the falcons and then i was rooting for the falcons and the falcons choked and you all know that game I remember i was so pissed off about that game like that was such a cheat cheat-a-thon but going back to the day when i got in trouble i went to the principal's office explained like what happened or something like that and then she gave me a stress ball she's like she kept on telling me stop touching it Stop touching it! Stop touching it! I'm like, seriously, relax. Like, you're acting like, like, seriously, it's not a bomb. Like, what do you think it is, a bomb? And it's gonna, and I press a button, it's gonna blow? Seriously, like, relax. Amber, I shared it to a friend. He said, oh, if I were you, I would have been like, it's not a gun. Fuck you, bitch, and stuff like that. I remember I just had to sit there. I did math work. I remember I had to stack papers, which that was actually cool, I guess. And I remember I had to be in the ISS room and she said, when you go back in that classroom, I want your mouth shut. I don't want to hear another word. You got me. And then I, at the time I thought it was worth it. But now when I look back on what I said, you know, I really regret it now. Like, yes, that's my belief, but you know, I should kind of keep it to myself. The in-school suspension room, it was all right, I guess. Um, I saw some old friends in there. Uh, some of them, uh, I, I knew, some of them were former football players. Um, I remember, um, okay, the second time I got in trouble. Well, I went to my counselors talking about it. I remember I was going off and yelling at her, like cursing out and saying like, this is so fucking ridiculous. They got me in trouble for something stupid. I'm like, she tried to be, Thing was, I didn't take it seriously, but she said, like, excuse me. She said, here's the thing, Jake. I understand how you feel. I understand that's your belief. I understand that's your family's religion. But the thing is, if you say stuff like that in a public place, like at work or anywhere, you can get in big trouble. That's what she was trying to teach you is, yes, I understand that's your belief, but, you know, you need to realize, you say things like that in public, you get, you get in trouble. And it's not good. Um, and then the second time I got in trouble, um, if you remember from the relationships video, I scripted something from something my cousin repeated, uh, which I'm not going to say that one either, but I remember the teacher got out of her seat and like started bashing me in my face. I remember. And like, um, I remember she said she was going to film me or something like that. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. I have YouTube, you know, I'm all about that stuff. You know, I'm like, I, I don't know. And then I went back to the office again. They wouldn't, the first round, they made me go in school suspension room for like, I don't know, part time of the day. Then I went to the health, the special ed health class, which I got to walk the track, you know, take some hot laps, you know, it was a stress relief. Um, the second time they wouldn't let me go to BOCES. The first time they did because they didn't trust me without a Victor workers supervision, which is ridiculous. Okay, I was gonna be okay. Like, 
I tried to argue my way through it, but she kept on bitching off about it, I remember. And she was saying, like, she doesn't trust me without a Victor worker's supervision, which is so ridiculous. And then, I don't know, I went to the in-school suspension room. I don't remember what happened. I think the same old thing, same old situation. Excuse me, I finish up my bagel. I don't remember the second time I went to in-school suspension, but I remember the third time, the one that crossed the line. So if you guys remember from the relationships video, I said I was so mad that I just couldn't take it anymore. I remember there was a coffee shop um, in Victor, which they were closing it down. They had these cookie dough bites, which I freaking love that shit. If you guys remember from the relationship video, I had a picture of it. You know, that stuff's freaking good. I'm thinking about making homemade versions of those. One thing is, don't use eggs. Use the substitute of eggs, which is applesauce. Yeah. True story. You know, I was also mad about, you know, the Giants losing the playoffs. Victor's basketball team losing that playoff game. I was really mad about it. I was mad about, you know, the girl and stuff like that. And, you know, and then there was the other girl who I kind of liked, who I didn't know that well. And then that was that one time during the, um, uh, it was like out in like the spot where the bus is parked at my school. If you guys remember in the relationship video, um, the one boy who I was friend, who I'm friends with bumped into this one kid who, if you remember from the re relationship video, I said he looked like Sid from Toy Story. Yeah. He bumped into that kid and then she started doing stuff to him too. And then I went, and you guys remember from the relationship video. I said this to her, I was like, why would you want to hang out with him? He's a spoiled, retarded punk who should be put in a mental hospital, like what I said. At the time, and yes, I don't use the R word that much. Yes, I do think the R word is a slang word for people with special needs, even though I have autism myself. At the time when I said that, it was worth it. But now when I look back and when I called the kid the R word in front of my friend, I kind of regret it because he could have told him. And this kid has like massive anger issues. And trust me, he would have, I don't know how... Well, I'm bigger than the kid, but, you know. The kid's haircut, because he looks like Sid from Toy Story. Like, I can just picture someone doing this meme. I like to cut G. Like, I can picture someone doing that to him. Then I, ha I went to my counselor's office. I had that wild, out-of-control mental breakdown. Um, They brought the principal in. She was fucking, like, cheesed. Like, she was cheesed. Like what the IBP says. Shout out to you guys, best YouTubers ever. She was cheese. She was like Swiss cheddar and Parmesan in one sprinkle. And she was also freaking out like the, like when Jack Doherty, another YouTuber shout out, another favorite YouTuber shout out and stuff like that. When he went on the trampoline court at Bounce and went on the six and under court and the one, the guy in charge of the place yelled at him and bashed him out. The principal said she was going to bring the school police officer and handcuff me and drag me out of the school. And I don't know, take me to like one of the facilities, I believe, or home. I don't know. I just love how, like, the principal, like, didn't care about why I was mad. She's like, I don't care. I, ca I don't care about that. I can care less. And she was saying I put my hands on my counselor, which that was not true. And I just, I didn't like how, the one thing I hated about it was, like, how she just wouldn't let me talk about my side of the story. She was more like talking about her side and what she thinks, which was so ridiculous. And then you remember, I remember the one quote, you will never, ever, ever, ever step foot in this school, this office, anywhere on school grounds. And if you get, and if you are suspended and you get caught on school grounds, we will charge you with a criminal trespass. And I remember she freaking like blood curdled screamed so fucking loud. I remember like she said, I understand you don't like me talking in this tone of voice, but I, you, you really have crossed the line with me. You know, the other stuff, it didn't bother me, but this, you really crossed the line. She was also saying stuff like, oh my gosh, like, oh, the, I was saying nice stuff about the school police officer. Like, well, he's not here. He's not your friend and stuff like that. He's here to take care of the school. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, he was a nice guy. 
like he would have fun with the kids. But I'm like saying like, you want him to hate the kids, and you want him to not have fun with kids. I'm like, it's like no, I. She's like no, I never said that. You're right. He's a nice guy. He does care for, um, he does care for everyone. He loves the kids, but just if there's a student acting all wild and stuff, she was going off like saying like, she even said this like you deserve it. This is the worst. You showed the worst example of a Victor student in my in history of Victor. She said this was the worst case ever in Victor School's history. I doubt that because I bet there's been worse kids in the past. She's probably just saying that just to scare me off and stuff like that. But yeah, I remember. Um, if you guys remember my old YouTube videos where I made that basketball bracket about Section Five boys basketball. One of the, I think it was the one about the class A one that that was the day when that inc when all that incident happened. But yeah, I just didn't like how like they wouldn't let me talk about my side of the story and what's bothering me if I'm okay or is there anything wrong. I kind of knew my mental breakdown was going to be a bad idea, but I didn't think she was going to get pissed. Like I thought, oh maybe get suspended or something like that. But I don't know. She just lost her shit and went the hard way on me. And like what she said about me being the worst example, this is the worst thing that's ever happened in Victor School's history. I doubt that. There's probably been worse kids in Victor. She was basically just saying that just to scare me off and shit like that. The next day I went to the office, I kind of explained like what was going on with me. And then, you know, I had to deal with the consequences and stuff like that. She said, she said, I'll say this more in a calmer mood. I'm like, I appreciate the apology, but I'm just going to say this in a nice mood instead of shouting at you what I was trying to say the, the day before um i was not allowed to go back to the health the special health health class like the the rules are you're not allowed to go back to that anymore so now from now on it's going to be either you stay in the iss room for the rest of the day or it's home and i know you like coming here let's say this if i got in trouble again i would just go home like what i said in my relationship video i would just go home i would not want to sit in that small tiny ass room where like all the desks are so stuck together it's like being a big guy like me it's it's hard but i remember that week if for all you rochester folks who remember this back in 2017 um we had that giant snow day yeah the next day after when the day not the day after my mental breakdown but the day after the day after my mental breakdown, when I had to go into the principal's office, you know, I had to, I went to like, I don't know, like the in-school suspension room and I had to go one last time because they wouldn't let, because they said if I got in trouble, I wouldn't be allowed to go in the health class. I would have to stay in those, I would either stay in ISS or go home. Um, They said there was going to be a snowstorm. I remember we had three snowstorms in a row, I guess, and they made us leave early for school because BOCES was shut down. And I would say thank you, God, thank God that those snowstorms happened because it made me get to sit, reflect on myself. And, you know, I was saying a lot of stuff to myself. I was saying like, I was saying stuff like, you know, like, you only got one year left of high school. Next year, you have one year left. After that, it's another chapter. You know, I was telling myself, and I remember like, you know, my parents didn't know what I was going to do with me because I was really out of control. I don't know, my grandparents, one of my, my grandfather was like threatening to take me to a mental facility because he was like, I'm sick and tired of these modern day parents. They, they're so soft. Back in my day, they were hard. Well, nothing against my grandparents at all. I really like them a lot. But like my grandfather's parents, like their discipline, they were like aggressive and stuff like that. Like. Same for my dad's side. Like, my dad's side of the family, like, you know, they're they're good, too. Well, my dad's side of the family is Italian, Irish, German, Welsh. And then my mom's side's, like, Polk, German, and Irish, Scottish. Like, my dad's side of the family, they were aggressive with discipline back in the days. But with my mother's, like, they were a lot more violent. Because my grandfather would tell me, like, what they used to do. It was really, really shocking. You know, you're saying he wanted me to be put in a mental facility and, like, they wanted me to, like, wanted them to melt the lock. But I didn't want it because I didn't want to leave my friends or family for a long time. But I was reflecting, you know. You got one more year after junior year. And then after that next chapter, where do you, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? 
I was thinking about maybe I do want to go to the my program at NAS where I am now, but I was thinking like you know like I didn't I didn't know at the time. But the snow days were gone. I reunited with my counselor again. I was more calmer, more nicer, and stuff like that. Um, other things I saw during that snow day. Um, I watched uh, the NISPA Boys Basketball Championships. It sucks that we never got to have them this year or last year because of COVID. But I got to see Irondequoit win their first ever title. That was a good game. I was rooting for them the entire time. The Fairport one, uh, I kind of went neutral. I did kind of feel bad for Fairport because they really, well, Mount Vernon, you know, that's like uh, like a city school, like in out, out in like the Bronx, well, north of the Bronx, basically. But like, you know, those are city kids right there. And those kids really play football or not football, basketball has a big tradition down there in New York and in the city, too. Um, I talked to my counselor. She explained like the whole thing, like, you know, what really happened. Like, I don't know if I was going to be, like, suspended. Well, not expelled. I didn't. I thought, like, when she was saying never, ever be back, I thought, like, you know, I was going to be expelled, and I was never allowed to come back to Victor again. I thought, wow, what a waste. Because I remember coming to Victor my kindergarten year after leaving the preschool for the special ed preschool I went to. And, you know, my parents were wondering, do you think Victor's a good idea? And then I started to like Victor first, second, third grade, and then fourth grade somewhat – Fifth grade, my most depressing year of all. And then sixth grade, I was probably just angry because of all the depression the year before. And then my awkwardest years, junior high. And then somewhat in high school, I started to learn about who I really was as a human. And then I was, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this is like do or die. Like, I'm either going to turn around and succeed or I'm going to get in more trouble and then I'm, I'm dead. And I'm lights out for me. But then I talked to my counselor about it and, you know, we kind of talked it over and stuff like that. The one thing I was really excited for was unified basketball. Um, I did get mad the first game and stuff like that because we lost. But, you know, the second game, I remember my special ed teacher was saying, oh, I also went to my first lacrosse game. I went to, like, how many lacrosse games did I go that year? My, the first time I ever went to a Victor lacrosse games, they were fun. I think I went to four, I think, three or four of them. I don't remember. Excuse me. And I remember, let me think, excuse me, oh yeah, the second game, sorry, I was clearing my throat when that happened, um, the day before the second game of my unified basketball season, or ba basketball career, second game of the season of my junior year, the one girl who, you know, who I was in Bosey's with, the one thing about her, like, she would be nice at times, but she would be a t complete dick like she would be she would say nasty comments about others behind their backs and stuff like that but you know i try to ignore all that negativity she would say she said she wanted to move back to her old school which um my buildings and grounds instructor lives in her old hometown i thought oh that guy's gonna act like a creep around her and stuff like that and act weird and stuff like that and i thought like you know like uh oh boy can't think <clears throat> i i don't know why i thought that but then i went to the basketball the gym to practice shooting hoops and some of the boys lacrosse players were playing in there and then uh the hockey coach kicked us out and said we're not allowed to be in the gym you know and then i got really angry and i was upset that she said that she wanted to go back to her old school at the time i was mad about it pretty much i wouldn't care anyway if it was nowadays um but like you know and my counselor gave an example, like, you know, she probably misses a lot of your old friends. I bet there's some people who moved from Victor who you missed. I'm like, yeah, my friends Jordan Colton, my friend Omar, they moved. To, oh, my God, a lot of others, too. Um, so the second game of my unified basketball season, the principal who yelled and went off on me, she was there. And I remember my special teacher said, you better act right in this game. And let me tell you. I bet she had the best game of her life. I remember she went after me at the game and said I did an excellent job. You know, she said I did a good job with with uh, sportsmanship, you know, help, being a good leader and stuff like that with some of the players. Even during the scrimmage, we had a kid named Marvin who was really tall on our basketball team. I was helping him out during the scrimmage. It was his first ever unified season. And I was kind of helping him, teaching him how to shoot. He's a tall black kid, not verbally. He's He has autism, but he's not verbal, doesn't speak that well. He does speak, though, but, like, um, 
I remember like um his parents were kind of watching me and just showed me that I was helping him and stuff like that and like um my mom went up to uh her mom his mom went up to my mom and said like you know I'm glad that your son's uh helping ours and showing uh, is being a good like you know leader and stuff like that but that second game against the Webster Unified team, I saw the principal's face when she was, like, in the game. Like, when my friend Marvel would shoot those baskets, like, every time she would shoot a basket where the crowd would go nuts, her face would light up and she'd be, like, all happy. She's cheering, going like this. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, like, uh, what's going on here? Like, I'm like, okay. Like, yeah, like, when I go to her office, she's all cranky, downside, mad at me for certain things. I'm like, oh, now she wants to think I'm the coolest kid now because I'm not in her office. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it was like that. Um, unified basketball went really good. Um, I sadly missed Special Olympics because I was unexpectedly sick. It was that was one of the most unthinkable things that happened. Um, I went to the lacrosse games. Um, oh my gosh, what else did I do? Oh, I was I was ready for senior year the following year. Um, oh my gosh, I also went to um, the state championship for when victor's uh boys lacrosse won their third consecutive title when they beat yorktown i went to that game at st john fisher great game i miss like i can still have the feeling of me cheering going crazy with the victor student section um i remember the celebration for boces i remember i reunited with my buildings and grounds instructor i said hey and he said like what's up jake i heard you did a good job in that kitchen dude I heard your football team did good this year, dude. And, like, yeah. And then I remember um, the last day with uh, the girl named Sarah from my um, girl room class. I remember she gave me a hug, and she said she would really miss me. And she said, I hope you have a good senior year. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I went to some extra days at BOCES and stuff like that. And, like, the, the van would drive me there. And I had the person who now drives me to my program from Victor. Um... Another incident that happened, um, when I was leaving BOCES one time, they had, like, a flag day parade. And all of a sudden, when I'm leaving, I hear teacher yell, look out, look out, look I'm like, what, what, what? I see a special ed kid, big kid, probably, like, taller than me, maybe half the size of me, like, go try to get after it. I remember I blacked out for a few minutes. And then I started, like, breaking down crying, like, in anxiety. And all the, they're all calming down. They told me, sit down on the on the steps I remember I was so like shaking I was crying hysterically like I was scared and this one teacher it came up to me she was kind of like rubbing my back really smoothly and I remember they gave me cold ice water I remember so many people were asking if I was okay it gets me emotional see thinking about it like oh my gosh like I can just still think about it that teacher it was so nice and then when she said the name of who that kid was I'm like that's the that was the brother of the kid who I said that looked like Pey the kid that had the Peyton Manning forehead. I'm like, oh my god, that's her brother with autism, if you remember me saying it. I'm like, oh my goodness, what a crazy coincidence. And then I remember the principal, I forgot her name. I, I said, do you want her to come? I was like, sure, I just want to just say hi and stuff like that. And she's like, she's like, hey, big guy, how are you? I'm like, hey, how's it going? And then I safely made it home. Everything was like, okay. I remember the driver was asking me if I was okay too. You know, he said, I'm glad that you took that really well and stuff like that, I'm proud of you. I remember after I left, all the, all the, the teacher aides said bye. And I, I said to him before I left, I, I said, thank you very much and God bless you guys. That's what I told him. And oh my gosh, I could still kind of get emotional from it because like, I remember that like yesterday, like that was nuts. Um. Yeah, and then the last time I ever saw my buildings and grounds instructor, Mr. Walker, I said, hey, he was like, hey, where's like, where are your heads? He was like, heading home to Victor, where I belong. I was like, okay, have a good trip. <laughs> yep. That was really fun. Um, so, yeah, I ended at BOCES, and I was really, really pumped for senior year. I thought, oh, my gosh, it's crazy. I remember junior year, I got in trouble, went back to the principals for the first time since third and fourth grade. And I thought, oh my gosh, I remember coming to Victor from the beginning. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm almost to the mountaintop. I'm like, let me tell you, I'm going to make my senior year the best ever. The best year ever. And that was my junior year. And I also want to say, 
when I do my senior year, I'm going to put them in separate videos, talk about them separately because there's so much stuff that happened my senior year, just to let you guys know. That's the end of my junior year episode. Next up, the grand finale, my senior year.